Hi, it's Kernetex here with a video about how to prepare Zorin OS for use as a host to build Linux from scratch. So this video is specifically about the packages required and the minimum versions of those packages required that specified in the Linux from scratch book in chapter 2.2. So when the desktop comes up, I'll get a web page up to show you the actual part of the LFS book that this video will be about. I'll get a terminal up as well while that's loading. Okay, so let's get the Linux from Scratch website up. Okay, it's happened a couple of times today, right. So this is the section I'm talking about in Chapter 2, Section 2.2. 2 .2. All these packages are required on the host to build Linux from Scratch. And there's a script here to um, run, which gives a report on the status of those packages. So what I'll do first is I'll become root. And I've already got the script on a partition. So I'm just going to mount that partition. And then I can run that script. And you can see we've got an output here with several commands not found. So those are the packages that will need to be installed. So first of all, we've got an error that says that bin sh does not point to bash. And as you can see, it's currently pointing to, pointing to dash. So there's several ways that we can modify the default um, shell. Best way, the safest way, terms of Linux and Scratch is just to overwrite it with a new link to bin bash. So we use ln minus svf, the s for a sim link or soft link, v for verbose and f to force the overwriting of the current um, bin sh. So we want to link bash, sorry bin bash to bin sh. And uh, that's done. So if I now run the, rerun the script, you see that um, message, that warning's gone, and it tells us that bin sh is pointed to bin bash, just as it did when we created the link. So the next package we need to install is the bison package. So we just need to run apt install bison. And just press enter to accept the default of yes to continue. Now you could use a graphical installer to, to do all this, but you'll be building LFS, you'll be doing everything from the command prompt, so why not learn a little bit more if you've not, not installed packages like this before? So that's done, let's rerun the script, and you can see Bison's now installed with version number 304, and it's also created this symlink yak, which points at bison.yak. So now let's look for the next one, which is Gork. So we can just change this to Gork, apt install Gork. Nice quick one. Again, just rerun the script. Double check that it is has installed. There it is, GNU Ork, and the sim link's been updated. It was pointing to user bin Mork, but now it's pointing to Gork, so that's good. Now we need to install two compilers. First is the C compiler. So apt install GCC. There's quite a big packages, so it'll take a little bit longer than the others. So it's nearly done, and when it's done, when it's completed installing, again we'll just run the script. 
to verify that it has installed correctly and you can see we've now got GCC version 7.5 so the next one we've got is the C++ compiler which is called G++ in, in the GNU world so apt install G++ enter to accept the default of yes and to continue and again we'll just wait a little bit for that to install and that's done so again rerun the script there it is it's installed that's fine now let's look for the next one to install which is make quite an important package because make is used by most um, packages to script the compilation of the package that's done let's run the script again and you can see it's there now version 4.1 so the last one we need to install is make info make info is a program not a package so if you try to install make info it fails as you can see Make info is actually part of a package called text info, so that's the package we need to install. Press enter again to accept the default to install it. And when that's finished, just run the script for one one more time, and you can see we've got no errors now. So the only thing left to do to carry on with the Linux from scratch installation is to check these versions are equal to or greater than those mentioned in the book in this chapter. And assuming they are, you can carry on uh, with the rest of the Linux from scratch installation. So I hope that's been useful. Um, if you found it useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.